Hi, my name is Lori Hecker with Hess Corporation, and I'm proud to take part in the We Read initiative with the Barbara Bush Houston Literacy Program. And the book that I wanted to read for you today is called, Is Your Mama a Llama? Here we go. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you are right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like a bat. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. See, there's Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddy said. She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be a swan. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. She grazes on grass and she likes to say moo. I don't think that is what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think that your mama must be a cow. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a seal. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. So I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama's a kangaroo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Oh, Lloyd, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long lashes, and fur, and you of all people should know about her. Our mamas belong to the very same herd, and you know all about llamas, cause you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama. And this is the end. Thanks for reading with me.